So the stage was set. The final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC one pack character was going to be revealed today, January 16th. And a lot of people were excited for this, myself included. Looking at the DLC roster thus far, there's been a lot of big announcements, a lot of surprising characters. Characters you thought had no chance of being in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate being brought into the game. Now last week on the channel, we talked about who I thought was going to be the fifth and final DLC character for the DLC one pack and my theory was Dante from Devil May Cry and a lot of things just sort of led up to this a lot of people were expecting Dante to be in this game potentially of course when you look at the timeline of events it just sort of made sense Capcom themselves said they had a special announcement about Devil May Cry 3 special edition for the Nintendo Switch happening on January 16th and when was this Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Direct announced it was going to be announced and coming out on January 16th so I felt like the time timeline of events just sort of made sense Dante sort of makes sense into the Smash Brothers universe but unfortunately I was wrong about that it was just a theory at the end of the day but Dante is not the final character for the DLC one pack what was that big announcement from Capcom for Devil May Cry 3 special edition then well it's a freestyle mode that's going to be added into the game where you can change your style on the go so that's pretty cool but no it is not Dante unfortunately so as we're watching this Smash Brothers direct I'm sitting here thinking well who is this character going to be if it's not going to be Dante and then we learned who this character was it's Byleth from Fire Emblem of Three Houses and you know honestly that that was a personal disappointment for me I know a lot of people are excited for Byleth I know a lot of people love Fire Emblem representation in Smash Brothers now I've been playing Fire Emblem since the Game Boy Advance game so I've been around Fire Emblem for quite a while but I just feel like as a final character announcement for the DLC one pack Byleth to me was a bit of a personal disappointment especially when you look at all the other crazy characters that we've gotten so far to have yet another Fire Emblem character which already has very good representation in Smash Brothers, was a bit of a personal disappointment. But Sakurai seems very excited for it. A lot of other people seem very excited for it, so I'm not going to steal your sunshine. Of course, they showed off Byleth. He will have different weapons that you can choose from, some stages based on Fire Emblem Three Houses and the bit various houses that you can go into into the game, depending on which house you choose at the start of the game. And everything looks fine, you know, everything looks sort of cool and all that stuff. But I just, when you talk about characters like Banjo-Kazooie, you talk about characters like Terry from King of Fighters, I think you sort of set yourself up a bit for a anticipation you sort of set yourself up for what this final character is going to be and to see a character from a very recently released game a yet another fire emblem character like i said to me was a bit of a personal disappointment sakurai then played the character so you could see all the different moves and all the different things going on honestly i just sort of tuned out a bit to that just because of my personal disappointment with the character it's like yeah it's cool you know it's another fire emblem character but i was hoping for a more off the wall Wall character another third party character or a first party character from a more obscure Nintendo game or maybe a game that doesn't get enough love now one thing I actually was interested in though was the me fighter costumes the me fighter costumes I thought were the best part of this for me personally because of the cuphead costume when you look at this cuphead me costume I think it looks absolutely fantastic it's not just a simple sort of costume it actually looks like Cuphead is in Smash Brothers now if you get this character for the me uh, for your me you actually get an additional song as well so there's no Cuphead related stage which I think would have been really cool but it is nice to see you know Cuphead in this game I think that's pretty cool you know they also showed off some Assassin's Creed stuff some Mario Rabbids stuff some Mega Man stuff so I thought the me costumes look really cool I think the Cuphead costume is going to be very very popular and then they also announced that there's going to be an additional character in the season 2 DLC pack and you'll actually get six characters instead of five now what I thought was interesting was they are releasing all the characters by December of 2021 so it's gonna be a very long road until we get those final characters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate obviously there is no additional Smash Brothers game coming to the Nintendo Switch they seem to be riding this one for quite a while which I think makes sense what more 
more can you really do than just add in more characters and of course nintendo seems to be embracing this whole dlc thing as a whole now what was interesting was sakurai did say that the characters are already chosen for this dlc pack so you can bother them all you want on twitter but the characters are already written in stone as to what characters are going to be in the season 2 dlc pack and you can actually pre-order it starting at the end of january and you get a cool little armor costume from the legend of zelda breath of the wild for the nintendo switch a me costume that you will only be able to get via this way there is no other way to purchase it so all in all, I really just don't have much to say about this Smash Brothers Direct. I think it's cool if you're into Violet. I think it's cool if you wanted more Fire Emblem representation. But for me personally, I was just a bit disappointed with it. Like I said, it's just my personal opinion. If you are excited, I'm not going to steal your joy. Go out there, enjoy Byleth in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Get hyped about it. There's nothing wrong with being excited for it. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with being a bit disappointed by it either. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I know it's kind of a short one i'm honestly a bit tired i didn't sleep much last night so i'm gonna wrap this up edit it get it up for you guys and then probably just go back to sleep if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications check out other videos on the channel and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later